Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at using uh, the slope intercept form to go ahead and graph a line. And the slope intercept form is going to have two numerical values in it that is going to basically help us move around. That's going to be the slope denoted by an M and the Y intercept B. Okay, and so that means uh, the following. So just to understand is that if M is positive Okay, so if we have a positive, then you're going to go ahead, your first move is going to be up. Okay, and that's going to be the number that's on top of the fraction, and the bottom of the fraction always tells you how many that you go right. If it's negative, a negative slope, then you go down that many first, and you always go right. Okay. So again, positive, up first, negative, down first, okay? And that is just for the slope. So let's go ahead and take a look. Is that if I look at this guy right here, the number in front of the x is 2 thirds. So I know that the slope is 2, oops, 2 thirds. So that means since it's positive, I'm going to be going up that much and write that much, but from where? And the answer is we're a starting point where we have this business of a negative four. That's the y-intercept. So we start by graphing the y-intercept, negative four, and from here, we're going to go up from that point. We go up two spaces, so I'll count them off, right? One, two, and then write three. One, two, three, and that is going to be my next point that I'm going to make. So up to right three, and then we do it again. Usually we do it, um, we graph just the y-intercept and then two other points. So we're gonna go up to and right three again. And now I have this guy right here, and then I'm going to draw my line through there, okay? So notice that I don't have to have a whole exhaustive table of values. I, I can go ahead and from there just um, um, basically get the three points and use the starting position and then the slope to go ahead and graph the line. Uh, let's start with the next one. So we go slope is a negative, okay? And since it's negative, I'm going to go down one first and write three. And where am I going to start? I'm going to start at a positive 5. So I start here at a positive 5. And from that point, I'm going to go down 1 and write 3. Okay, down 1 and write 3. So let's go ahead and see that again. Down 1, write 3. Down 1, write 3. And from there, I have my line. So that's two down, and so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the numbers that, or some of the slopes that might not have a fraction, or might, uh, yes, they don't have a fraction. So in this case, I have here a negative four. However, if there's no, if there's not no like um, denominator, then I'm gonna put a one under there. So I can use this again, and I know it's a negative. So negative, divided by a positive, that's gonna give me a negative four over one. So that is gonna tell me to go down four and write one. And from where? It's going to start at a negative one. So we go negative one. And from here, we're going down four and write one and down four more and write one. So let me put the points on there. So down four, right one, down four, and right one. And that is my line. Okay. And then finally, um, we might have an instance where we have no denominator, and we also don't have a, um, a number where the y-intercept is at, okay? So first, let's take care of what we know how to do, two over one, where we're going up to, and write one. 
And in this case, since there's no number back here, we start at zero. So we start at zero. And from there, we're going to go up two and right one, up two and right one. And we're going to make the line just like that. So that's just a brief overview of graphing lines and y, equal, y equals mx plus b form, or better known as slope intercept form. So that's how you do that. I uh, hope it helps, and I will see you in the next video.